Hello friends, welcome back to Joyful Half Acre. And I wanted to show you a few things in my garden today, but first I want to show you the harvest that we just got today. We got this whole bowl full of peas and carrots. And I just got done <laughs> shelling all of those and you know cleaning up the carrots and dicing them. Now I still need to blanch them and get them frozen. I was going to uh, pressure can them. Uh, last week I got a harvest of peas from the garden and started pressure canning them and realized the seal on my canner is bad. It was leaking water out the side. So I am now waiting for a seal to come in the mail and <laughs> we are freezing all of our harvest until it comes. At least I have that option to put it in the freezer. So let's go to my garden and I'll show you a few things. Oh no, look at this. This right here is the trouble we have with corn. And I looked over here and look, there's two more of them. That's how we know our corn's done usually is because the raccoons taste it and start eating it and taking it. This is so little though, I don't even think it's done. I mean, look at that ear of corn. It's so little, they're not even done yet and the raccoons are taking it. So, I don't know. I don't know if this variety maybe is done when it's littler. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into it and look up because I've, I think this is my corn that I got from am I gardener maybe? I'm not sure. I'm going to look that up. I'll link it above and I'll let you know in a future video what I do about this because I got to figure out whether that needs harvested now or if I have some really weird raccoons this year. But what I came over here to show you was I got my first ever uh, summer squash. Now I am new to growing summer squash. This is a first for me. We've actually never tried squash. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm weird. We're trying new things and expanding our palate this year and trying to you know, eat different things and try different things. And so we've got summer squash and winter squash over here. Look at that. My first ever, oh, that one's even bigger over there. I have pumpkin, win, summer squash, and winter squash. I think that one's here, I don't know. And then I've got melons and stuff and lots of weeds. <laughs> I've been really behind on my weeding. I need to do that. But if you have any good recipes for summer squash, let me know in the comment section below because we're trying it new this year and I need to learn the best way to eat it, the best way to cook it. So let me know because I'm really interested. My cucumbers are finally trellising here. I had to move them over a little. Yes, I should have weed eated back here, but I haven't yet. And my tomatoes are looking good. I'm starting to get flowers, starting to get little green tomato starts. So pretty. Just gives me the hope of the harvest to come. Some of them I still need to do a lot of pruning to. Over there I've done pruning just a few days ago, but this side I haven't gotten done yet. And these tomatoes are looking really good along here. These are my Dr. White cheese, witch cheese, whatever. Yellow, and those are looking really nice. This is a pineapple tomato plant. Those peas I harvested, we've still got quite a few more along here. I'm gonna have plenty of peas for the next year. But these aren't even done yet, so. And I left some this year. I'm going to try to harvest my own peas for next year's crop. That's my goal. Oh, and look, my volunteer tomato plants over here are looking good. They've even got a large grouping of tomatoes here. Oh, makes me so happy to start seeing that. I'm betting that's a cherry tomato, maybe. And something has ate all of these. I don't know what it is, but I'm just leaving it. If nothing else, I'll feed it too. My chickens, they eat anything. My lettuce, I have been harvesting this 
since it's bolting or whatever. This is my first year growing lettuce, so I've been harvesting it and feeding it to the chickens. And then I just watched a video, I'm not even sure whose it was. Might have been Roots and Refuge, probably. And she was talking about letting it go to seed and then saving the seeds. And I realized, well, yeah, might as well do that. So those last few that are getting quite tall, I'm gonna let them go to seed and see what happens. There's my carrot bed that still has lots of carrots left in it. When I planted these carrots, <laughs> I planted them, my cats came in, used it as a litter box, so half of them got dug up and yeah, so I had very few from the first batch of carrots that I planted. So then I replanted them all. And so that's what's here left now is that second batch. So those will be ready in a couple few weeks. But the other day I came out here, still got some weeds I need to pick up. Um, but it's hot. <laughs> need to get back inside in the air. The other day I came out here and there was this plant growing. And I thought, oh, that weed's gone to seed. I need to pull that. So I came out here and I pulled this weed. This is one just like it. I pulled it. That's a carrot that's gone to seed. If I would have left it, I would have had seeds from that carrot. So. I'm gonna leave this one and maybe a couple more and get my own carrot seeds. Might as well. This is the first year I've ever, well, I can't say it's the first year I've ever harvested seeds. I have uh, marigolds and peppers before of both of those and it's worked. So this is my radishes that have gone to seed. I still have to look that up again. I thought it said you wait until the plant dies. Well, that's interesting. Little pods are full of little tiny seeds in there. So, they're still green. So obviously that means I need to leave this, but look at this huge, huge plant full. What's funny is that I actually was looking for radish seeds at the store because after I planted my first round, oh, I've got this fly buzzing me, I ran out well, I've planted two rounds. And then I ran, ran out and I love radishes. I'd like to plant them every week. So, looked at the store, no place around here has them. And I don't order a whole lot online. I do when I have to, but I, I, don't, I like shopping in stores. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Most people don't anymore, but I couldn't find any. So I just haven't had any more radishes for a few weeks. Well, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have plenty of seed after those plants dry up. Here's another new plant that I've never grown before. Green beans. Oh, look. Purple green beans and green green beans. Oh, I've never grown them. Now I need to look into when do I harvest them. They look a little skinny to me still, so I'm sure I probably have a little while left, but I got to look in to see how long you wait until you harvest them. And I forgot I had planted purple green beans, so that's an exciting find. I'm still waiting on this little guy. Pretty sure it's an okra, but I'm still waiting to see. <laughs> still not 100% sure on that one. My loofah are growing. They're climbing here, and my nasturtiums and mm, mar marigolds? I don't, or not marigolds. <laughs> Those are not marigolds. Whatever they are, my plants. My flowers are growing good too. But yes, my loofah, this one's grown clear up here. Get off there, bugs. Don't eat my plant. Kind of baby in them. Really want loofah. Okay, the only other thing I wanted to show you is this sunflower here. Isn't that neat? Every time we come home and pull up in the driveway, I think it's grown another inch. I swear every day now it's grown about an inch. <laughs> Kind of neat to watch and see how fast some plants grow. The wonders of nature is just amazing to me. I love watching God's creation grow and produce fruit and flower and just be able to have abundant produce from the garden. It's just an amazing thing. It really is. So that's my little garden tour. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the, a few of the 
interesting, exciting things in my garden. Some of the things that make me happy. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything growing in your garden, any exciting things that you're finding and just loving and what in the garden is bringing you joy this time of year. So thanks for watching today, friends. I hope you'll like, subscribe, blah, 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 if I can talk, <laughs> like this video, subscribe, and continue to join us in this joy-filled life. Thanks.